guys, welcome to another video. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of a a haul, not so much a grocery haul, um, but there's a couple of little bits and pieces I want to show you. It was mainly because I actually really wanted some chocolate, um, and so I got a couple of bars a couple of weeks ago, so I want to do a taste test and kind of show you what I got. So I found this website called Ethically, sorry, EthicalSuperstore.com, and... That's them there. Um, yeah, and I've just got a couple of products for them, from them. The first one is this um, shopping bag. So this is completely recycled from plastic bottles. And I just think it's really cool. So, I mean, it's massive and it's really robust. As you can hear, you know, it's completely plastic. Um, and it's got this little kind of label thing on the side. And I just think it's gonna kind of last forever and obviously it's gonna be waterproof. Um, but yeah, I just I thought it was really pretty, so that was kind of on the end of my order. Um, I've looked at this, and this is more like a delivery note than um, than an invoice. So I can't actually remember how much everything was. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over this cold look at my nose. Look like a reindeer, a, bit of a Rudolph nose going on. Um, so yeah, so how long ago I ordered this was um, it was a couple of weeks ago, and it was to take kind of. There was a couple of bits that I wanted to take for when I went away with the girls for the weekend, um, but it just didn't actually arrive in time. Not that the delivery was really long, I think I just ordered it too late. So one of the things I wanted to take was this kind of morning after herbal hangover comforter. Just to see, because I don't actually drink that often anymore. And when I do, I suppose it is on the verge of binge drinking, um, but it's you know, you're kind of going away with the girls and it's my old lifestyle versus my new lifestyle. Not that there's any meat or dairy or anything involved, but it's the amount of drinks that I take. So I really, really suffer. So I thought I would take this with me um, and it would either work and it would be great or it would just actually make some of the girls laugh as well. But there's two sachets in here, which are 10 grams each and the ingredients are chamomile, fe chamomile fennel, dill, ginger, caraway, nettle, lemon and the Verbena? I don't know what Verbena is. Actually, maybe I should try one for my cold. But I've got two of those because I thought actually if it did work, and there's two sashes in each, um, I might actually be able to give them away to one of the girls. But obviously it didn't arrive in time, so I didn't take those with me, so I will utilise them on my next night out. Um, but yeah, so the main reason for shopping at ethicalsuperstores.com was I really fancied some chocolate. And, you know, as... I wasn't a, a chocoholic before, don't get me wrong, if I started a bar, I could easily polish it off, same as packet biscuits, but those days were few and far between, so if I really fancied it, I would eat it from start to finish, but wouldn't fancy it all the time, but I really fancied some chocolate about three weeks ago, and I don't think I've actually had any since then, it was obviously since I ordered this, but I've got these bars from Divine, the light's on there, so I have a dark chocolate with raspberry, a dark chocolate with cranberry and hazelnuts. And I think the packaging on that's really sweet. So actually, if you wanted to get this for a gift for somebody for Christmas, I think that would be a perfect gift. Perfect gift for vegans and my friends out there. I'll gratefully accept this. Um, and then there's the dark chocolate with Himalayan salt. So I'm going to do a quick taste test for you and let you know which one I think is better. Now, this isn't sponsored. This was completely me wanting to have a bit of chocolate. Um... And that's how I literally, I came across the the um, ethical superstores because I was just kind of Googling vegan chocolate and came across that and then got my snazzy little shopping bag as well. Okay, so the first one we go for is the Himalayan salt. Oh, let's have a, it's trickier to get out. Oh, look, oh, it's got some pretty pictures on there. So it's got heart and divine inscribed in there in a little circle. You see that? Flower. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good actually. Oh. The salty bits were a bit hard. Um. Mmm. That is pretty cool actually. I don't think I've ever had pink Himalayan salt before. And I don't know if it's the chocolate that's making it sweet, but 
I've just crunched into a whole piece of salt and it tastes like a sweet salt if that makes sense so yeah no, I like that one but I mean obviously they all come wrapped in these wrappers and then you've got the foil underneath kind of standard chocolate wrapping really excuse my sniffing I just I can't actually breathe at the moment <gasps> would you look at that the hazelnut one can you see it all in the back mm. this is quite exciting I've got that one we've got more of the pictures on there that one's got a snowflake on Ooh. Oh, you can smell the cranberries. Okay. Mmm. 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 Yeah. 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 I like that. Out of the two of those. The hazelnut and cranberry is my favourite so far. Okay, I've got the dark the last one. Dark chocolate with raspberries. Just rinse my mouth out in between so I don't cross-contaminate my blethers. No. Okay, last one. Let's see. Oh, that is exciting. It looks like... Um, what was the bar of chocolate with the rice crispy bits in it? Was it crispo, crispos or crispies or something? That's what it looks like at the back there. Mm. Again, okay, the same side at the front. <laughs> oh, I'm torn. Oh, I'm torn. Oh my God, that's good. That's really, really good. Mm. Mm. I think it's more flavoursome because it's freeze-dried bananas. Um, so you've got a bit of a crunch to it. Which feels like it's releasing this sweetness when you eat it. Whereas this one, I think that the cranberry's soft, so I think it's it was dried cranberries in here rather than freeze dried. And I think that you know raspberries are sweeter than cranberries anyway. But uh, I think this is the winner. I think the the dark chocolate with raspberry. I think that's the winner. But the cranberry and hazelnut is a very very close second. Um, I don't want to forget about the pink Himalayan salt it is delicious and if I bought this one just on its own I would have been very very happy but as I bought the other two as well I'm um, yeah the, the, the pink Himalayan salt one's probably going to be left for the hubby and these two are going to be eaten by me quite possibly most of one of these bars tonight this is probably the first thing I've tasted in a couple of days. But yeah, okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want more kind of um, different haul videos rather than just normal groceries, let me know in the comments below. If you also want other taste test um, videos, again, let me know in the comments below and exactly what it is that you, the, the taste test you want me to do. Um, there's lots of Gary taste tests going on at the moment. And I'm thinking about doing one, um, but... To date, I haven't been a massive fan of the vegan cheese, um, so I'm not quite sure. But if you'd be interested in it, let me know. Comments below, um, and I will do one for you. But hope you're well, and have a happy and healthy day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.